I will show you now how to use the query tool in Atlas TI 8 windows. You first go to analyze, then you select query tool, click once only, and now you will see below the query tool, but you also see the navigator. You can close that by clicking on the triangle on the left. On top left, you see the code groups of your project. Below, you see the individual codes that you have in the project. So, what is the query tool? The query tool is a tool that allows us to interrogate Atlas TI uh, by codes or combination of codes across documents or combination of documents. And we can interrogate Atlas TI using a set of what we call operators. They are kind of rules that tell Atlas TI what you are looking for. And the operators are of three kinds. First, set or Boolean operators, semantic operators, and proximity operators. The Quick Tour Manual starting on page 55 gives a very detailed explanation of each one of these operators as well as an explanation on how to use the query tool. So in this video tutorial I will not explain each one of the operators although let me let me mention them to you. The first set of operators are known as I said as boolean or set operators uh, or and one of not. Notice two things. First, that all operators they are represented by symbols and those symbols they, they uh, try to depict uh, the meaning behind the operators. Additionally, when you place a cursor on, on, on any of these operators, you will see below an explanation of that operator. Uh, what does it mean? So you have a lot of, of ways of learning well uh, the meaning of each one of these operators. So OR, AND, ONE OF, AND NOT. Then the semantic operators are of three, uh, three types and these are used to query uh, code to code uh, semantic networks uh, when uh, the network has used what we call transitive relations. Uh, so we have the up operator, the down operator, and the siblings operators. And then the proximity operators, uh, they will allow you to query the project according to the spatial proximity between uh, codes and their quotations. And there we have uh, when one quotation coded with a code is within another quotation coded by another code or when one is enclosing the other or is overlaps the other or is overlapped by the other or follows or precedes or co-occurs. So you see all of these represent the spatial proximity between the quotations that are coded by a specific code. Uh, we can also ask Atlas TI besides asking what did people say about topic A or topic B, we can also ask what did people say about topic A or topic B but only those people that were interviewed in New York and who are gender female. And for that, we use what we call the scope. So we will define a scope for the query. Okay. Let me give you a demonstration of the query tool. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to look for the code of funding sources. So in other words, what was said by the study participants about funding sources, double click, or state funding. 
double click. Click on the Venn diagram and that will allow you to see below the list of all of the quotations that satisfy this query, satisfy the rules that you added to this query. Uh, so, in other words, what we have here uh, are uh, all of the quotations that were coded with funding sources as well as all of the quotations that were coded with funding from the state. And if you want to create a report of this, you go to Output, Report. And here I would like to invite you to try all of the different options but let me try uh, the first one, report, and uh, here is where you will determine what you want the report to include. Uh, so, by definition, I would like the report to include the content of the quotations. In other words, the entire text of what people said in relation to that query. I may also want to include uh, whatever comments I wrote in association to those quotations because comments are these reflections or or attempts to describe the content of the quotations and having that uh, in the report can help us further understand what people have said. I may also want to include uh, the codes that I used now, not only these two codes that I included in the query, but let's suppose that uh, those quotations, or at least some of them, were coded by other codes as well. Well, by selecting codes, that will be included. Now, here, uh, you have to be careful, okay? I, I would not uh, select dates and users and comments because this will give me too much information. Uh, and I will not select uh, uh, quotations uh, that will go too deep uh, into this query and I don't want that. That would make perhaps a, a big uh, project, I'm sorry, a big report. Uh, so I would like to ask you to experiment by selecting these options on your own, okay? But for now, let's just select codes, but I don't want to have details of those codes, okay? And let's leave it like that. And now I will create the report. So here it is. This is the report uh, that uh, is, uh, uh, is the result of the query uh, funding uh, sources or this uh, pipe sign, a vertical line represents or, or funding uh, from the state. And here we have all of the quotations that were coded with that. And as you see, given that I, I also selected uh, codes, it gave me these two codes that are not part of the query, uh, but uh, they were used in association to this quotation. Therefore, Atlas TI included those codes in the report. If I had not selected codes, then these two codes would not be included. Okay? All right. Uh, this report can be saved as PDF or Word. If you save it in, in Word, uh, you will be able to edit it, uh, change a little bit the way it looks uh, in order to meet your own uh, requirements. Now, let's say that not only do I want to know what was said about funding sources or state funding, but I also want to know uh, what was said about that by a subset of participants. I have to go to Edit Scope. And here I have on the left side above the, the document groups location rural, location urban, method interviews, methods, method secondary data, site Brazil, site Guatemala. And below I have individual documents. So I may want to know, okay, what was said about that, but only by one single interviewee. 
okay, or one single focus group session or one single article from the literature and so on. Or, or you, may, you may say what was said about that by all of the people that I interviewed in Brazil or by all of the uh, secondary data sources. So you, you have to play around with that. So let me show you here something interesting. I will select everything said uh, about that uh, by the people from Brazil. But not only that, by the people that I interviewed in Brazil. Therefore, I have to add another group, which is interviews. And I will do that using the AND operator. Because if you look at this Venn diagram, you see that only the intersection of those two sets is, is, is highlighted. Um, and what does it mean? Let's think that the circle on the left represents side Brazil and the circle on the right represents interviews, then if I select and only the intersection of site Brazil and interviews will be retrieved. In other words, only the interviews conducted in Brazil and interviews, only three. Now, in order to produce the report of this, you have to click on Edit Scope again, and that will take you back to the, uh, to the Query tool where you will select Report, Report, and let's now just select the content. I will not select comments nor codes, and let's create the report over here. And here we are. These are the three uh, things said about funding sources or state funding uh, by uh, the people interviewed, the people interviewed in Brazil. Okay, and then you know already save as PDF or as Word. So what I would like to ask you as a kind of as a favor is that you experiment with some of these other options. Play around. For example, change the operator will allow you to change the operator that you have used. Uh, you have used or, well, you can want to change it for and, for example, right? And that changes the operator and, of course, that changes the output as well. Uh, swap terms. Uh, delete what you have done and always remember that you have the option of undoing and Atlas TI 8 allows you to undo up to 100 steps backwards okay all right so uh, please uh, take a look at the quick tour manual starting on page 55 and and uh, experiment a little bit with this thank you very much <laughs>